Hi everyone, Dave here from Tres Studios and today we're going to be taking a look at this infrared heater. It's a patio indoor outdoor heater. It's uh, IP65 rated for outdoor use but it also can be used in garages, workshops, basically anywhere you'd like. Um, and I want to give you guys a closer look at it. I'll explain a little bit about it and then we'll go into the unboxing and the installation which was very simple and then my final thoughts on this this heater by uh, Sunday Living and Sunday Living was kind enough to send this out to me in exchange for my review and demonstration of the product so let's get into it there it is on low right now it's it has three settings it has a 500 watt a 1000 watt and a 1500 watt setting um, it has a remote control it's IP 65 rated for outdoors for waterproofing it um, has yeah the three different settings the element that you see in there it's kind of a golden color element when the when the thing is off so it looks nice but it's also rated for 6,000 hours of uh, of use it's a really nice uh, modern looking heater I really like the look of it it's, it felt nice and solid in the unboxing when I unboxed it. It has a 45 degree uh, adjustable angle. Like I have it kind of pointed down a little bit so it'll be you know kind of focused on where I'm sitting when I do my reviews. It's completely quiet. So here's everything that comes in the box. The heater itself, which is a little bit heavier than I had anticipated. It seems to be nice and solid, well built. You have the remote and you have your little package of hardware here and you also have your instruction manual. Here's the bracket that it comes with for mounting and this is your adjustable so that you can adjust the angle on this up to 45 degrees which is one of the reasons why I picked this model. Yeah so there it is so I'm gonna go ahead and get started with the installation process I'll explain to you guys um, some of the things that you want to keep in mind as you install this um, but uh, you know every application will be different and this is like I said a patio heater but it can be used in garages and workspaces basically anywhere indoors as well as long as you meet the criteria which um, this is what they're recommending in the manual is that you have 70 inches beneath it and 20 inches above it 19.7 inches okay so I want to show you how I installed this it was very simple and easy to install so you take the L bracket that comes in the box and the long side comes out away from the wall so I was I positioned it on a stud but if you didn't have a stud where you want to put the heater um, you do have the plastic inserts that you have to drill in first then the little bracket that's on the heater itself sits on top of the L bracket and the wing nuts go on top the little bolts come up from the bottom then you can adjust the angle with the included Allen wrench right here and I have it kind of pointed down a little bit because I want it to warm uh, the area where I sit when I film so you just tighten that up when you get it positioned as you wish um, but yeah that's it so let me stand back and show you guys Oh, you want to make sure, so to make sure you get it mounted the proper way also, uh, the rocker switch will be on the right hand side when you mount it, and that way you'll make sure that your top side is up. So this is your top side rocker switch right here. Of course you do have the remote, so let's give it a try. So I'm going to push the power button. There's a little red light you can see on the unit itself now. There's the little red light and I'm going to hit the power button and it goes to green and I think that's like in standby mode now. So now I'll push the 500 watts and instantly we have heat and I'm like 8 feet, 8 to 10 feet away and I can feel it even on 500 watts. It feels warming, a, a comfortable warming feeling like the sun kind of shining on you. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the 1000 watt. I don't know if it took. Now that took. I could see the brightness kick up. 
and I can feel that slightly more and now we'll try the 1500 watt yep and I definitely felt that uh, warmth pick up even just a little bit more anyway that's how it looks and that's 15 I'm gonna turn it down to 5 it's very warming very comforting feeling you know that's why I like the infrared the far infrared heater I really love this infrared heater. I love infrared heaters anyway because they throw heat like the sun. Basically it's a radiant heat source. So I have it on the lowest setting right now and it's about four feet from my back and it feels like the sun is hitting my shoulders. It's a, um, yeah, it's just a beautiful warmth. It's, a, it's like a, a fireplace warmth or the sun. It really is, um, these heaters are designed to heat objects and people um, more than the room air, although they do heat the room and the, the room of course gets, gets warmer. 1500 watts up to 5000 BTU. So that's what you get out of it, but I can tell you that the heat feels wonderful and you can feel this thing 8 to 10 feet away. It's, um, it's nice that it has the three different settings. Um, I love that it has a remote, although you can reach the switch depending on where you mount it. Um, just overall really pleased with the product. It, it feels well done. It feels solidly built. It's got an estimated 6,000 hour uh, life on the uh, element. And I just think it's a very nice product. I'm very glad to have it out here in the studio. I'm not sure if I'll leave it there or not. I probably will because I love the fact that you know, I don't have to use the furnace, which I can't use when I'm filming because it's too loud. Um, then it, this is perfectly silent and gives me a nice heat um, right where I sit when I film. So anyway, I'm very happy and I thank uh, Sunday Living again for sending this out. So if you have any questions or comments, leave them below. I will leave a, an affiliate link to this in the description. And until next time, take care of yourself, take care of each other, and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.